The Bermuda Triangle, an unexplained urban legend of why many planes and ships disappear in one region of the world. Legend, or perhaps a reality. Today we are going to talk about this very strange phenomenon, what it is, how it came about, and to see if we can perhaps maybe uncover some of the secrets of the Bermuda Triangle. Hello! Welcome to Brain Spill, the laziest show on the internet. My name is Tank, and, um, well, let's just get into it, folks. The Bermuda Triangle is a region of the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean. Whilst the area is not a precise measurement as such, this is a very common interpretation of where the triangle spans from. From the corners of the tip of the US state of Florida, near where Miami is, down to Puerto Rico, and of course, on the third and final point of the triangle, up on the island of Bermuda. Yes, there is no precise measurement because anybody that is trying to establish an area where disappearances happen kind of shift the triangle somewhat, with some people even claiming it goes as far as the coast of Ireland. But this one that is next to me is probably the most recognised version and is basically the one that many people believe is the approximate area of where the Bermuda Triangle actually is. One possible start for the theory came when a designation of US Navy Avengers left a Navy base on a routine flight in December 1945, only to then radio back to the base to confirm in a panic that they didn't know where they were, that they didn't recognise the sea around them, only to very shortly after this lose signal with the entire fighter squadron. The missing squadron are now known as the mystery of Flight 19. A rescue plane was sent out to try and find the squadron, only for the exact same thing to happen to the rescue plane shortly afterwards, and this kind of raised a lot of questions, mainly due to the fact that the remains of the ships, if indeed they did crash, were never found, so people don't actually know what happened to them. I mean, people had many, many wild theories, and well, who knows who's correct? Yes, many large vessels such as ships, boats, planes, all of which over the course of a number of years, thousands of people have just disappeared without a trace. Many people have many different theories about what this actually is and what's causing all the disappearances. My personal belief is that it's nothing more than a giant Leo Pluridon, because um, why the hell not? The earliest suggestion of these unusual disappearances in the area of the Bermuda Triangle appeared in an article published in the Miami Herald on the 17th of September 1950 by Edward Van Winkle Jones. The idea was popularised, however, by Vincent Gaddis in 1964, who wrote an article called The Deadly Bermuda Triangle, saying that Flight 19 and many other instances were all part of a pattern of events in the area with books being written soon after to support these theories. And yes, like I said, there were many wild accusations and theories as to what has possibly caused all this to happen. However, the whole idea of the Bermuda Triangle is just a mystery. People don't know. There is no definitive answer because nobody has figured it out. Nobody knows where these flights went, and that is what is so fascinating about this, is that after so many years, people still just don't know. Yes, I think the generally accepted position is that this area of sea or land is generally a very dangerous place, but the reason for that is what people are arguing. What is causing this to happen? What is so dangerous about this? Is it that there is some huge supernatural event that is causing people to just simply disappear? Or is there more to it than that? Many people who have a more rational way of thinking about things or just simply don't believe in the more supernatural ideas and basically put forward an argument to try and dismiss many of the more wild accusations and theories that people have. One such example is when the US Navy created a fact sheet on the Bermuda Triangle saying the following. Countless theories attempting to explain the many disappearances have been offered throughout the history of the area. The most practical seem to be environmental and those citing human error. The majority of disappearances can be attributed to the area's unique environmental features. First, the Devil's Triangle is one of the two places on Earth that a magnetic compass does point towards true north. Normally, it points towards magnetic north. The difference between the two is known as compass variation. 
The amount of variation changes by much as 20 degrees as one circumnavigates the Earth. If this compass variation or error is not compensated for, a navigator could find himself far off course and in deep trouble. So, basically what the US Navy have been trying to say is that they have reason to believe, from a scientific perspective, that yes, this area is more dangerous due to these reasons, and because of it, it allows more room for error when people are navigating this either by air or by sea. Plausible, I'll give them that, but uh, I don't think it's the truth. I'm still absolutely adamant it's a Leoplorodon. I mean, if you've seen the size of their mouths, I mean, they're, they're massive. I mean, I imagine that Flight 19, once they got caught by this thing, I mean, it might not have been able to eat them whole, but I'm sure if it had some time and not really much to do on its hands, then it could chomp away at these planes over the course of a few weeks, maybe. I think it's a perfectly plausible explanation, and we need to be on the lookout for this thing because, my God, it has caused havoc for years. My theory, as solid as it sounds, still has not much evidence to back it up, but we can believe people. Another environmental factor is the character of the Gulf Stream. It is extremely swift and turbulent, and can quickly erase any evidence of a disaster. The unpredictable Caribbean Atlantic weather pattern also plays a role. Sudden local thunderstorms and water spouts often spell disaster for pilots and marinas. Finally, the topography of the ocean floor varies from extensive shoals around the islands to some of the deepest marine trenches in the world. With the interaction of the strong currents over the many reefs, the topography is in a state of constant flux and development, and development of new navigational hazards is swift. I mean, guys, the proof's in the pudding, clearly. They clearly think they know the answer. I'm going to still keep banging on about the Leo Pluridon drum, but, you know, decide what you want to decide. Because I really, really want to believe that a prehistoric animal is eating boats and planes whole, but there we are. The fact sheet does go on to say that many of the instances of boats and planes disappearing is probably more so due to the fact that the vessels being used to make this navigation just aren't suited for this environment. Due to the fact that it's a very dangerous stretch of water and if you're not prepared for the job then clearly you're going to have some form of accident or go missing or, heaven forbid, you get lost and disappear without a trace. However, many simply don't buy the explanation claiming that the phenomenon cannot be explained and that the reason that scientists are trying to give us is simply a way for us to try and wrap our heads around something which we just can't comprehend. The fact that perhaps we can't explain something that has yet to be fully investigated. And yeah, the secrets of the Bermuda Triangle are secrets. We still don't know the answer and I don't know if we ever will know the answer, but we can certainly have a good idea as to what might be causing this, dependent on whether you want to swing towards the uh, scientific side or the more loosely based supernatural occurrences, such as a giant twister that might drag things into the ocean, you know, something like that. Pop culture has some many, many fascinating theories. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to be notified as soon as I upload my next video, be sure to hit the bell button. And if you've got any ideas for what topics you'd like to discuss next, let me know down in the comments below. As always, sources used in the video will be in the description. A Leoplorodon is about 7 meters long, meaning that if it was to eat a plane or a ship, yes, I, I admit it probably can't do it all in one go. So either if it had a lot of time or maybe there's... guys? Maybe there's more than one Leoplorodon. Maybe there's an entire platoon down there just chomping away at all the boats it can find. You never know, I might be true. I mean, it, it, go, it certainly goes to explain why, why, let, hear me out, don't hit the dislike button. This explains the reason as to why many, many people have disappeared without a trace, because everybody knows a Leo Pluridon loves to chew through planes. I think I'm losing the plot, it's about 2000 degrees in here, so I'm just gonna end the video. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Fantastic.